Welcome to mechanical tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like surface modeling, sheet metal and enclosure design, product design, plastic components design, reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS. Hi, today I am going to explain how to add toolbox library. See, usually we face a problem. Sometimes we come across like toolbox is not activated due to new installation of software or due to some errors. So how to rectify and add toolbox in the library. So let's see. See, usually the toolbox icon is available here in design library. So here it's not added. So one method is that we have to select the SOLIDWORKS add-in tab and select the toolbox. Now we can see the toolbox library. So here I have taken the ANSI inch. I have selected the ANSI inch bolts hexagonal head and simply drag into the so it will ask are you trying to make a derived plot that means if I say yes I have already opened this part file so it directly inserts this part into the this component into this part but usually this is not preferred so if I select this and are you trying to make a derived part I have to click no option then it will ask to open read only. So now it is opened with a new part file. So one more method is we have to click this option button and select add in so if i click check this option it will open for only this session but sometimes when we design a machine components where we frequently use design library then we have to check this option startup so that it permanently integrated in the design library. So these are the two methods. One is from SOLIDWORKS add-in tab and other is from options add-in. So whenever we see this kind of icon on the left side we can see add an icon with this image then immediately we have to go to add in and check this option solveworks toolbox library then automatically this toolbox activates in the window so this is how we add toolbox library in solveworks thanks for watching